ruler tool in photoshop you can find a ruler tool in photoshop under this icon right click on it and you can find a ruler tool with a shortcut of i you can click on this and you can find the definition when you hover over it so ruler tool measures distances and angles in an image let's say we have the shapes here of a straight line we can measure this by clicking on it and you can drag the second point here and it will show the measurement here with a width of 503.5 pixel and a height of zero because I drew the line in a straight way you can also move or move the the points or the reposition the the second point of the ruler into a, by clicking on this and dragging it to other position as you can see the, the measurement change into this with an angle of 42.5 degrees let's cancel this Control z or let's create a, a new ruler once you create a new ruler it will remove the the previous ruler so hold hold shift and first point click and drag it over here so it will create a straight line horizontally it will lock the path horizontally and, and drop it there as you can see the height is zero because i created a straight line with a width of 512.49 pixel you can also move the ruler what we created here by holding the shift to constrain the position as you can see it constrained vertically also horizontally you can do that or you can move it when you release the shift it will you can move it on a position where you want or free position you can move it anywhere in your workspace so you can press control for that and click and move also once you start clicking a ruler or creating a ruler from left to right hold shift it will create a positive uh, value here but once you start from right to left it will create a negative value of width also the height when you create from top hold shift to bottom it will create a height of positive value and the opposite from bottom to top it will create a negative value you can delete the ruler by clicking on clear and it will delete the ruler there also let's say we have I can create also this click on that and drag it here and it will give a value of angle also you can let's say I create a ruler here you can also join two lines let's say we have ruler here I create a ruler here and press alt from the from the second point and it, it shows this angle icon or cursor that means you can join that and create another ruler press alt and click that point and drag it here to the third point so it will create two lines intersecting two lines so this one this is the line one and the line two here the line one the line one with a measurement of 721.41 pixel and a 700 703.23 pixel on the line two here let's say control z we can st straighten this uh, position also let's say i create a curve like this and i want to straighten that i can click the straighten layer and it will straighten this image into that position straight to that so you can do that way also press ctrl z to revert it back but you can do with ruler also you can for this image you can refer an image for measurement let's say i want to refer this go to the image under image click on the analysis then set measurement scale and click on custom as you can see this pop-up box uh, will appear now create a ruler of let's say of this chair 
let's say we know this uh, the length of the chair is is uh, five five feet so every pixel if we divide the total pixel of that is five feet so let's drag a calculator let's say 1592 pixel divide by five every feet has 318.4 pixel so we will create that as a reference let's close this and click ok once you set your reference click on the use measurement scale and you can click click here and hold shift to measure the door the height of the door so the total height of the door is 6.61 feet so you can measure also this because we have the reference from the chair and you can also measure this the length it didn't give it gives you a 3.37 uh, feet also this so you can reference that by the use of use measure measurement scale also this and it gives you a 5.37 feet so that's ruler tool in Photoshop I hope this video tutorial helps you don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching